How can I help my loved one cope with symptoms and also improve quality of life? Alzheimer's disease doesn't just affect the person with Alzheimer's, but it affects the entire family. And it's really critical to have both patients and caregivers and the extended family, both educated and aware of the disease, but also educated and informed about the resources that are available. There are a variety of different resources out there depending on where you live. For example, in the United States, the Alzheimer's Association and the Alzheimer's Foundation of America have resources, have a free phone number that people can call for help. You may also want to call your elder care division of your individual state. You may want to talk to a social worker. A social worker can be recommended either by the Alzheimer's Association or Alzheimer's Foundation of America or by your primary care physician. It's critical to get educated and get informed about the disease. How do we do this? Well, there's a variety of healthcare professionals like we talked about, but whether it's finding a book, finding a website, or joining a support group, one of the most important things that we recommend for patients is to try to join a support group in your area. Support groups are not only helpful for psychological support for the caregivers, but they're also helpful to learn more about the disease and to prepare for what's to come. Further, many support groups also have day programs or care programs that can assist in caring for your loved one and also provide respite care. Respite care is used to give caregivers a break. The monotony of caring for a person with Alzheimer's on a 24 seven basis is beyond challenging. Even getting a few hours a day or a couple of days a week of, of additional care can make all the difference.